the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video trigonometric ratios of uh, 90 degrees uh, now let us see how best we can demonstrate uh, that uh, for visually impaired children i am taking a vertical line and uh, calling that as uh, bc now uh, i am calling the length of the this uh, bc as x now i am taking another line ac which is uh, the same length of bc so i call this as z i call the length of this as z so what happens you know here when ac and bc are identical then z becomes x there is one more characteristics also now suppose i form a base let me call that as a b now what happens uh, with the base i am making 90 degrees making 90 degrees now the z becomes x only when the lines are identical when i move the line away from the bc then the angle formed between the ac and the base is becoming less than 90 degrees becoming less than 90 degrees when it is becoming less than 90 degrees the ac should have been longer okay so when it is 90 degrees it is identical with the bc so z becomes x when the angle the angle of elevation elevation is 90 degrees now when the angle of elevation is less than 90 degrees then the z is not becoming x right now we can use this logic to define the sin 90 degrees cos 90 degrees tan 90 degrees and other trigonometric ratios now let us call the base as y now when the angle of elevation that is the angle a theta is less than 90 degrees you know y is different from x which is different from z now when the angle of elevation becomes 90 degrees that is when theta becomes 90 degrees then the y becomes zero because there is no base when the two lines are identical then y becomes zero now let us discuss sine 90 degrees sine 90 degrees is when the ac which is the hypotenuse is coinciding with the opposite uh, making it as one unit so sin 90 degrees is x by z that is 1 by 1 that is 1 now cos 90 degrees equals adjacent by the hypotenuse here adjacent is y by z that is 0 by 1 0 by 1 that is 0 tan 90 degrees is nothing but the opposite by adjacent so opposite is x by y in this case opposite is one unit and the adjacent is zero when the theta becomes 90 degrees that is undefined 
undefined now cosecant theta that is cosecant 90 degrees is nothing but uh, the hypotenuse divided by opposite so here it is z by x the z by x is nothing but 1 by 1 that is 1 now secant 90 degrees is nothing but uh, the hypotenuse divided by the adjacent now hypotenuse here is z by adjacent is y that is nothing but uh, the 1 divided by 0 because there is no adjacent so it is uh, undefined undefined now cot 90 degrees equals it is uh, adjacent by opposite when the theta becomes 90 degrees the adjacent y becomes 0 and the opposite x is 1 unit that is 0 by 1 that is equal to 0 okay so the trigonometric ratios of 90 degrees have been found out using this uh, practical example it gives us sine 90 degrees as 1 cos 90 degrees as 0 tan 90 degrees as undefined cosecant 90 degrees 1 secant 90 degrees undefined cot 90 degrees 0 you know we have already proved uh, the trigonometric ratios of uh, other uh, angles uh, such as uh, 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees and 60 degrees now we have given all practical examples to find out the trigonometric ratios of all these angles and uh, the child may have to keep uh, the ratios in memory but uh, instead of simply memorizing the experiences that uh, we have provided through these uh, practical examples will help the child to understand and then remember the ratios.